What's up guys and welcome to the seventh video in this series. In this video we're going to cover uh, some basic animation with the hero class. So we're going to get this guy um, breathing and running and hopefully also flipping across that bar there. So to start we're just going to create a simple function called breathe. Start out with the most basic of these animations. And um, we're going to say, we're going to make a couple SK actions here. One is going to be breathe out. And this is just going to be an action that moves, um, that will just move our guy's body down by two points here. So we're going to say move by x0, y minus 2 at a duration of about one second. Then we're just going to create the opposite of this. So we're going to say let breathe in equal sk action dot move by x zero, move him up by two instead of down by two at the same duration. And for the main sk action here, we are going to sequence these two together. So I'm going to say let breath equal sk action dot sequence, um, give it, put in those two actions we just made into this array. So we're going to say breathe out and breathe in. And finally, we're going to run this action on the body that we set up up here. So this is the reason why um, I set the body to have be a global variable up here, just so we can access it in these animation functions we have. It just makes life easier for us. So I'm going to say body, body dot run action, um, sk action dot repeat action forever breath. So this should just continuously run that breath action here. We're going to create one more method before we pull up the simulator called stop. And all this is going to do is it's going to remove, we're going to say body dot remove all actions. Um, so it's going to remove any active action that is happening on our body at that moment. So just so we can see what's going on here, let's go into game scene. After we add the hero to our scene, we just want to say hero dot breathe to get him to start um, running our basic action. And instead of this moving ground dot start we have here, let's say hero dot stop, just so we can add some interaction in there. So if we run this in the simulator, you'll see we have kind of a basic breathing animation there. It's actually pretty, pretty decent though, just for moving a guy's body up and down by two points. And you'll see also if we click on the screen, um, it stops that animation and we can't start it up again. So. Cool, that is our breathe animation. Now we are going to move on to uh, running. It's kind of like a lot of the same, a lot of the same things, just dealing with SK actions, except we're going to be using completion blocks because we have to make um, a certain action run together. So like the left leg comes up and then the left leg goes down while the right leg comes up and all that business. So you'll see that all here in just a sec. So. I want to say new function called start running. And in the, um, in the original game, I don't, I don't know if you noticed, but the guy's arm like flips backwards when he starts running. So let's do that really quick first. So I'm going to say, I'm going to create an SK action called rotate back. And this is going to be SK action, which has a method called rotate by angle. And if you remember in trigonometry, um, this is actually going to come in into use <laughs> if you uh, if you haven't used trigonometry outside of school before. But I'm going to say a minus m pi, and this m m pi right here uh, just gives us the default value for pi. So it's three point one four one five nine whatever, and just keeps going. Um, so that's the best value usually to use. And we're going to actually cast this. You'll see when you type this out that it's actually of type double. And we need to convert this to a float because um, that's, what this, that's what this parameter takes. So I'm going to say uh, minus cg floats mpy over 2. So um, we want to just rotate this back pi over 2. That will move it by 45 degrees counterclockwise. Or I mean, um, 45 degrees clockwise, because that will rotate our arm from being faced down to faced backwards, and that's what we want. So I'm going to do this in a duration of 0.1 seconds. Oh, um, Xcode is having some weird issues right now. It's going to show a little error message for a second. Yeah, 
Um, I think this is just an issue that I'm having with Xcode 6. It's probably just a bug in it, so just ignore it. And then it's going to say I have an error when I actually don't. Okay, so now we're working here. So um, now we're going to get the legs moving here. So we actually have to create a separate function for this, and we're going to call this uh, perform one run cycle. And the reason that we have to create a separate function is that in our completion block for our actions, we're actually going to rerun this perform one run cycle, and it's going to repeat the animation that we create for one cycle of running the legs. So I'm going to get it started here by just say saying um, perform one run cycle. And okay, let's do this really quick. So I'm going to say let up equals sk action dot move by x zero y two and a duration of 0 0.05. And all this is going to do is um, this is going to serve the purpose of moving one of our feet up. Um, and we can use the same action on both feet. We're going to create the opposite action, say down minus two, 0 0.05. And now we're going to actually start animating our feet here. So I'm going to say left foot dot run action. Um, we're going to run the action of up. And then I'm going to hit tab. And to kind of fill this out easily, all you have to do is hit tab, then hit enter. And it will fill out this kind of um, something that looks a little bit confusing, but it's actually really simple. This is just the syntax for blocks in Swift. And that's something you can look up in the Apple documentation there, the Apple guide for Swift. So that means that when the left foot completes this action, completes running this up action, it's going to run this next code we put right here. So right here, I'm going to say self.leftfoot.run action down. Then I'm going to say self.rightfoot.run action um, up. And have another completion block right here. So this is going to um, this is going to move the left foot down at the same time that the right foot is moved up. And the reason this is is because when you run actions, they kind of run down in sequence instantly, and they kind of run on separate um, they run on separate timers. So it's like it'll um, it'll start this action, start this action essentially instantly and at the same time because of how fast the computer will compute that. And then, um, so it'll be essentially like running them at the same time. So when the right foot action, when we run that up there, we're going to, after when it's completed, we're going to say self dot run action, uh, self dot right foot dot run action down. So that's going to bring the right foot down. And at the end here, we're just going to say self dot perform one run cycle, and it's going to repeat that over and over again. So yeah, let's get this, let's actually see all of this in action now. Um, I'm going to, we're going to go into our game scene class here. And yeah, so I'm going to say hero dot start running, right? We're going to say hero dot stop first when you tap on the screen. And then we're going to say hero.start running. So that way it's going to stop the breathing animation and then it's going to start the running animation when we tap on the screen. So let's pull up the simulator to um, get this guy going. Okay, so we see the breathing animation right there. Now, as soon as we click, you're going to see that his arm rotates back and he starts running just like that. <laughs> so. Um, that's the basics of those two animations. In the next video, we're going to cover the actual the flipping animation. So we'll scale him across and we'll also get it starting. So it'll be like you tap, the ground will start moving, he'll start running. And then when you tap again, um, he's going to flip sides. And so we're going to get that kind of basic functionality working.